Number four, use the data in the table below to answer the following questions. Now, in class, uh, I had a lot of questions like, are, we're supposed to do this, the calculate these calculations for each of these gases? Uh, no, there's only one calculation you have to do here. A says, which gas contains the most molecules in a 5.0 liter sample? So, we are, just like number three, assessing your understanding of Avogadro's law. Equal volumes of gases contain equal number of molecules. We have five liters of each of these different gases. We have five liters of each of these five gases. Always five liters. So that means we have the same number of molecules for all five, right? So in reality, all five have the same number of molecules. One doesn't have more than the other because they're at equal volumes. B asks, which gas is the least dense? And if I remind you of your uh, density equation, density is equal to mass divided by volume. Realize that volume isn't changing here. We have 5 liters. We have 5.0 liters. That part's not changing. So what's the only other term that can, affect, that can affect the overall density? It's mass. And if we're being asked for the least dense, we need to search for the smallest mass. And we can find the smallest mass right here with helium. So helium is going to be the least dense. C asks, which two gases have virtually the same density? Again, volume's not changing here. We have 5.0 liters. So the only thing that can change to affect the density, and here we're looking for the same densities, is the masses. And so in order to find gases that have essentially the same density, we need to look for two gases that have essentially the same mass. And we find that up top here with nitrogen and carbon monoxide, they're almost the exact same mass, only off by one hundredth of a gram, very, very, very similar. So carbon, mon or carbon monoxide and nitrogen gas have virtually, not exactly, but virtually the same density. Now D uh, is gonna ask you for a calculation. What is the density of N2 measured at STP? So that's standard temperature and pressure. And remember, at standard temperature and pressure, one mole of any gas takes up 22.41 liters. One mole of this gas of N2 is going to take up 22.41 liters. Also, at STP, or not at STP, just in general, one mole of nitrogen gas is going to have a mass of 28.02 grams. So I have the mass of nitrogen. I have the volume of nitrogen. And aren't those the only two things I need to calculate my density? Good to go. So 28.02 grams divided by 22.41. Uh, for one liters, I get 1.25 grams per liter.